let's talk about a new type of notation called function notation. And this example on the left is something you might have seen before. f of x plus g of x, right? Imagine they're polynomials, you just add them together combining like terms. Another way to say that is f plus g of x. Um, there's reasons why we might prefer one notation over another, but for now, let's just get practice at um, seeing the similarities between these guys and knowing which one is talking about which. So I just gave you an example of b, right? You can see the addition sign. That's probably a giveaway. Um, now with multiplication, you would say, okay, f times g. I'm looking at like this guy right now. f times g. Well, that's f times g of x. So, okay, that's that's c right there. But that times symbol won't always be there. So you also need to recognize that f g, like right next to each other, means the same thing. Okay, just f written next to g. It's implied that they're multiplied. Now, what might be new is this other one right here where I say f of g of x. Okay, this guy. Look, g is now in a parentheses. That implies that we're taking g and replacing any x's in the equation with a whole nother equation. It's sticking an equation inside another. And this is called composition. We're going to talk a lot about composition of functions in this unit. But this is what I mean when I say f of g of x. Okay, that's what that little circle symbol means there. And another way of writing that is this way. f with the circle symbol, that's the composition symbol, f of g. Uh, and maybe it's easier to see why this one relates to this one, okay, in, in the example of the previous two with addition and multiplication. So that's function notation for you. Anytime you see f and g in parentheses with the of x part coming later, uh, that's just a shorthand way of uh, saying that we're doing function algebra or composition. So let's do an example. I have a few examples here. We're going to do an, sub, a subtraction one, a multiplication one, and then a composition one right here. So skip to the part of the video that you need help with, but I don't think these will take too long. So in this example, first one, I want f minus h minus f. Okay, so you can think of that if you would like as h of 4 minus f of 4. And then just calculate h of 4, f of 4 separately, and uh, do the subtraction. So if I do f of 4 up here, what that means is 3 times 4 plus 4, which if you do a little algebra comes out to 16. And if I do h of 4, that is 5 times 4, remember 4 replaces the x, minus 1, and that's 19. So what do I get for my result? This is going to be 19 minus 16, so the answer is 3. Okay, that's literally the answer. It's just going to be a number, which you should expect because we're taking some something right here, this h minus f thing, and evaluating it at a point, at the point 4, so it's going to give us a number. Now, there's another way to do this, which is the following. I could have said, hey, wait a minute, let's just figure out what h minus f of x is, and then put in 4 in place of x. So you see what h and f are above. Uh, h minus f is going to be equal to, well, let's see, h is 5x minus 1, and f is 3x plus 4. So you could have said, okay, 5x minus 3x is 2x, negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5, and then do the h minus f evaluated at 4 which means 2 times 4 minus 5, okay? And that equals 8 minus 5, which gives us 3. Same exact answer. So you have your choice. If you want to go ahead and do h minus f of x, like the equation style over here, that might be useful if the problem you're working on is also asking for h minus f of x, right? You get two answers there uh, in, in the place of 1. So... Let's do, uh, I'll just pick the shorter method of doing that for this guy. Um, I'm assuming that your problem is also asking h times f of x. Okay, so we'll solve that one first and then plug in negative 3. It's actually going to take a little longer, but we get two answers for one. So h is 5x minus 1. f is 3x plus 4. It's just some simple foiling now. So that's going to be... 15x squared plus 20x minus 3x minus 4. Okay, what I did there was first terms 
outer terms, inner terms, last terms. So now we simplify this just a little bit. There's not much to do. This is going to be, looks like, plus 17x minus 4. And I'm going to do, as my last step, h of f of, h times f of negative 3. So that's going to be 15 times negative 3 squared plus 17 times negative 3 minus 4, which gives me, ooh, there's going to be some math involved here, 15 times 9. Um, let's just say minus 17 times 3 minus 4, 15 times 9. Okay, whew, 135. 135 minus 17 times 3, that's going to be 30. Wish I had my calculator. There we go. Um, so 135 minus 55 looks like, I don't know, 80. Okay, double check my arithmetic there, but I think that's how we're going to get it. Now you could have, as an alternative, done this. You could have done f of negative 3, calculate what that number is, and then multiply it by h of negative 3. That would have worked fine, and maybe that would have been quicker, but you wouldn't know what f times h is of x's. So we got kind of two for one. Okay, last one. This is more of a composition. And in this example, you should read this as h compose f of three. Okay, that's really what's being asked here. And now we really don't have, well, I guess there are a couple ways we could do it. We could do it in the order that the parentheses says. You could say h of f of 3, and then figure out what f of 3 is, and then plug that into h. Let's do it that way. Um, and I'll also do h of f afterwards. Actually, you know what? Let's do that first. Sorry to change my mind midstream here. So h of f of x equals, I, I write my h equation because that's on the left, the outside one, 5 times something minus 1. Now what goes in there is f. Okay, that's 3x plus 4. So this becomes 15x plus 20 minus 1, so that's going to be plus 19. Okay, that's h of f of x. And now if I want to say h of f of 3, that's going to be, uh, well, 15 times 3 plus 19, which equals mm, 45 plus 19, 65, 64, I think. So we get 64. Now, the other way of doing this would have been to say, first, let's calculate, okay, so I'm going to switch colors here, new way, h of f of 3, and just go by order of parentheses, okay? So, f of 3 is what? Well, that's going to be 3, and in place of x, I put 3 plus 4. So that's 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4 is 13, okay? So now, I take that 13 value, and I plug it into h. So I'm evaluating h of 13. So what do we get here? This is 5 times 13 minus 1. Okay, remember the equation, h of x, right there. So 5 times 13 is 65 minus 1, which gives me 64. So whichever method you like, go ahead and do that method. What I want to make sure everyone learns, though, is this important thing. This composition notation right here is the same as saying, um, well, not with an x there, this, okay? These are equivalent statements right here.